Hello everyone and welcome to our video on how to check your progress in PowerSchool. I want to say a special hello to all of our elementary students who are following along with this video. Remember, you can always pause the video to try the steps that I am demonstrating. In today's video, we will go over how to log into PowerSchool, view your progress in the different subject areas, how to look closer at your progress on assignments inside a subject area, and how to view any feedback you receive from your teacher. Let's begin by logging into PowerSchool. You are going to go to the website powerschool.ecsd.net forward slash public. I am going to log into our demo server using a demo student account. Now, here on the login screen, you will enter your username, which will be your seven digit ID number and your password, the password that you use to sign into devices, Google Chrome and Office 365 at school. Once you enter your username and password, don't forget to click sign in. When you log into PowerSchool, you will arrive on the grades and attendance page inside the grades and attendance tab. Now along the top, you will see a couple of different tabs. The second tab, outcomes grades, provides more of a summary of how you're doing in class. We want to look at the grades and attendance tab so we can see how we're doing on individual assignments, tests, quizzes, and the like in each subject area. So here in the grades and attendance tab, you will see a chart below. In this chart, you will see your schedule here on the left, your daily attendance. Here in the center, you'll see a list of all the subjects or courses that you take. And underneath the name of each subject, you will see a link to email the teacher of that course. Now, because we do not use numbers as grades in elementary or provide an overall score, you will see an I in the Y1 column in the place of a grade. And you will see this I for each subject. We will click on the blue eye to see inside a subject and get more information. Now, a little important tip for you. In PowerSchool, if it's blue, click it. With that being said, I want to look closer at math. So I will click on the blue eye to the right of math in order to get more information. Here inside of math, I can see more details, including all of my assignments and my progress. Here at the top, if a teacher has a specific comment for you, for example, maybe you are on an IPP or maybe you are an English language learner, you would see a specific comment for you here at the top next to teacher comments. Below, we see section description. Now in junior high, teachers post information from their course outline here. In elementary, teachers usually leave the section description blank. Let's scroll down to assignments. Here we will see our assignments listed starting with the most recent at the top or in reverse chronological order. So how do I see the attached outcomes and assignment details? Well, to get started, I will click on the blue button here with the graph on it. This expands my assignment and now I see the specific outcomes that were attached or the specific outcomes that were met by this assignment. If I look closer at the score column here, I can see for this assignment, collecting data, pictographs and bar graphs, for the first outcome, demonstrates an understanding of many to one correspondence 
I achieved proficient as I have shown that I am able to thoughtfully explain my work on my own and I can apply the strategies we're learning in graphing in other subjects. For the second outcome, though, I struggled with bar graphs. I needed quite a bit of help from my teacher to interpret the bar graphs we were given in the assignment. Therefore, I achieved an acceptable standard. Let's click the blue button to expand our first assignment. Now notice for this assignment, in addition to seeing a level of achievement, I see a blue speech bubble. This shows me that there is feedback for me from my teacher. To view this feedback and view the assignment description, I will actually click on view here in the last column. Once I click on view, I can see the feedback my teacher has given me for this particular assignment here in the score comment tab. Please note that you won't always get feedback here from your teacher. Score comments on specific assignments aren't mandatory, but sometimes your teacher will leave you feedback here to inform you and your parents about your learning progress related to a specific assignment. Also, I can go to the Assignment Description tab to see more details and information about the assignment. This can help you and your parents understand what you had to do and what was expected of you in the assignment. Now, keep in mind that the assignment description can be seen by every student, while the score comment that's just for you or just for individual students. All right, let's go back. Finally, you may also see different flags. For instance, I see two green check marks. These flags are explained in the legend down here at the very bottom of the page. All right, now that we have viewed math, I'll simply click on grades and attendance here in the left navigation to go back to our grades and attendance page. And again, from here, I can view another subject by clicking on the eye to the right of the subject. Once I'm finished, I'll remember to scroll back up to the top of the page and log out by clicking sign out.